Welcome to the ACGT Video Game Podcast. Today I'll be reviewing... SS... Do-do-do-do-do... BB... Do-do-do-do... Pretty fun game. Actually, no, not even a pretty fun game. A really fun game. It definitely lives up to the potential that its fellow... That its predecessors left it. So it, well, it met, meets the expectations. Um, all sorts of different controlling, controller options. You can have it be just the Wii Remote, Wii Remote and Nunchuck, GameCube controller, classic controller. Um, I like having the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, personally. Um, uh, something that makes it really awesome is it's delicious, as just awesome story mode. It takes you forever to beat it, but it's one of the best story modes you'll ever play. Because you can replay it wherever you want. So I'm gonna go to the... the Bowser Halberd Bridge on normal with uh, Meta Knight, Ike, Lucario, Marth. Probably my favorite characters are Marth and Samus, but I'd have to say I like this 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 configuration for this level because this mother effer is a pain in the butt. Oh god! Oh god! Um, it's basically the exact same thing as the previous games, uh, just a little better graphics, um, the story mode is much better, obviously. Ah, crap, I just got sucked into it. Alright. Still the old percent percentage damage, where, like... The higher percentage you are, the further you go flying. I won't make I won't make you watch me do all this. But um, really awesome. It's Super Smash Brothers is ma is was got its name because it was based upon its awesome multiplayer. And one, the only one of my beefs with this game, the one of the very few, is it automatically sets to timed. So if you're in a hurry and just want to get one through, and you accidentally start up at a time and nobody plays timed, it's just a pain. Royal pain in the ass. But, um, really, really fun game. Um, this... This new one came out with a couple extra... Oh, gosh. Darn it. I forgot to... ZB1 Plus? No, ZB... Yeah, ZB1 Plus. ZB1 Plus. Back. ZB. What more do you want from me? Thank you. Alright, um, and you can also set it so that it's got your own con controller config, because I have very special needs and need my own controller config. Um, this new one has King DDD Ike, which is basically just Roy, except just a little different. And, um, King D, let's see, uh, it's got Pokemon Trainer, Lucario, Sonic and Snake. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Wolf, Wolf, Falco, and Fox are the exact same thing, except Falco is a little different from Fox with his laser. Um, Wolf is a little different because of his laser also, and his little move, his um, his like jump. It goes up slightly. But, let's see if I can actually get an ultimate. I'll show you, because this game actually has ultimates. I 
clock you, don't say. Haha, <laughs> you're stumped. Backhanded. And that is the little orb that you desperately... Oh, crap! Not the King DDD dance where you play pinball with yourself. Oh, gosh darn it! Ah. Oh. So those that's the ultimates right there. You desperately try to break it open. Like, it only takes three hits, but... It, it's, it's just the most intense few seconds of your life. Um, let's see. ZB1 Plus. Alright, let's just look through all the characters. Obviously, Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Marth, Mr. Game Watch, Snake is new, so is Ike, so is Pokemon Trainer, Falco is from Melee, Meta Knight is new, Pit is new. Um, Zelda and Sheik are from Melee, Diddy Kong is new, Luigi from the original, uh, Peach is from the oldest one, I think, it might be only from Melee, Yoshi, Ganondorf, and all those other good guys, um, so I gotta go, thanks for tuning in to this ACGT video game podcast, come back next week.